Day 26. I guess we're just going to see what's up here. So. Naval infantry being built. Tank destroyer is being built. Nice. How's Stockholm going? Yeah, so we had a Marines regroup here, heal up. Took some land here. So the Marine up here, I had to retreat to Stockholm to heal up. Yeah, tank support though. But yeah, as you can see, we basically pushed him back. And now we're getting our troops built up now for the next potential assault. Oh. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I did pretty good, I'd say. I basically bounced back fully at this point. Although they definitely were hitting your boy a little bit hard early on. Now I just don't feel it. <clears throat> Marines are max. Which means you can now focus on armored stuff. So, our mobile artillery. We can get that up. We can get our SAMs up, too. Nice. We may even go through a theater defense system, too. Because I do want to eventually get one up, just for safety. Um, hmm. It's pretty slow, actually. Which makes sense, because how large it is. But yeah, um... I don't have the supplies. <laughs> So yeah, I think with all of our troops being built and stuff, that it's nice, you know. Uh, we can move this up to Vasa, so keep that there for a defense. Actually, no, 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 no. Capital. Put that at the capital. There we go. So yeah. See, we got this covered, got this covered. So Vasa's not covered, but majority of my places are not at this point in time. Um... If I can make another Sam launcher, I will and put it near Vasa. Which I can't because I don't have the supplies. I don't even have the components either for once, too, which is a surprise. That'll be done soon. A rebro. Alright, let's double up your production then to be a little bit better. Same with Gavel then. Because I thought the production was good. Apparently not. But hey, we're making a lot of day though, so that's nice. Um. Artillery has made a good recovery so far, I'd say. Motorizers chilling. Our naval guys are chilling. So right now they can get 3 HP a day. When a hostile's on, it'll be 4 a day. So going off of that, it'll probably take like 5 to 6 days for these guys to fully recover from their injuries and stuff. And besides once, also, is finally chilling. We can push all this out. Because of like keeping this stack moving the way it is. I'm gonna, you know what? Because there's a tank here, I think I will split off one and actually send it in to start capturing some territories. Although it will take some time as y'all can see. I won't make it capture any cities though. If that's what y'all are expecting. Instead it'll be meant for land grab. And then later today, once it's finally chill enough, I can probably send this guy to here, right? So yeah. So basically within a full day, y'all see all this captured. Hey, I'm putting in a lot of territory for this guy to grab. To be fair. <clears throat> but yeah. Once he's here though, and once he captures territories, it will get faster though, naturally. How much does it cost to- okay, make it a logistics sensor. I was thinking maybe make it some for him, but I just don't have the materials for it. Um... Hmm... Oh! Dice! So someone who was part of this went AFK, that was Australia. So I don't have Australia as a troop anymore. So yeah, nice, nice. So it's back to a 5v4 advantage. <laughs> We're gonna have to assault that eventually, I feel. Nutters, though. But yeah. Um, hmm. I'm thinking of maybe invading it, you know, it'd be really costly. Oh, I do have that research done. I don't, I didn't remember if I did. I just wanted to check real quick. So I didn't even make you. Yeah, I could totally make you tomorrow if I just save up. Um. I think the other coach is doing better than... Well, they were doing better until they lost their Australian guy. 
I ain't gonna say that because I would get slapped so hard. Canon and Japan are their own thing, but they're kind of dead. So we got, what, United States in there? No, United States is on part. So we got Venezuela, Chile, Angola, and Morocco. Also, Australia did push into here. So he did do it, but he left. So this is Chile. This is kind of ringing kind of similar to the last series I did. Where I was over here. There was a big... One or two, na two nations over here, big, juicy, you know, that kind of stuff. Nice flag. And then we had to do a massive invasion to win. I believe it was against Chile and Argentina last time. That's just when Chile and Venezuela. But we got to worry about Angola, though. He's a guy we'll probably be attacking next. If I had a wager. And then that's how I take consideration um, Morocco, too. Which, for one, I didn't realize Morocco joined them, or I forgot. So that means all of Africa is owned by Coalition, and all of South America is, too, essentially. Now, as you can see, we're having a lot of movement going on here, too. And now, since these days are delayed by a week, all this will be outdated, which is why I don't mind showing it. If it was like every day, though, I'd be dodging this like a plague. But yeah, it looks like our allies got some. Hmm. Don't know why I went for those if you ain't going for missiles. So, pushing them back, Russia's going in, and here I am sweeping up fucking Sweden. And once I'm finally done with it, I can help our allies. Rah, rah. Because I'm planning to take all this right here. And now they're probably watching me closely too to see when I'm done with this. And now some people are like, hey, you got three artillery, you got two naval and chicken motors, push him in. I ain't doing that. They need to heal up. And I've lost too many already. I know some people like that. I've even played with people like that. And usually when it happens, I put in my units and then they all die. And then all of a sudden, People who ask for it can't help me because their units are dead too. So now instead of me able to defend myself and do a counterattack, I attack too early with damaged units and I'm screwed. And that's something that I've learned. Not, when a teammate tells you to attack, that's not always a good thing. Like I learned that very early on in my conflict career. But anyway, that's me for this one, y'all. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Peace.